This is Lone Star Outdoorsman. I uh, just finished up a video on, I was actually trying to go hog hunting, but I ended up shooting a rabbit with my 22. And I'm going to show you guys the fastest and easiest way that I know how to get the meat off of these guys. The hardest part about it for me is trying to find somewhere to set up my camera. I think I'm just going to use this cinder block up here. Anyways, I'll be back in a second, and I'm going to show you guys how to turn one of these into a meal. Alright, so I found a good little cinder block to work on out here, and I'm going to show you guys how to clean one of these up. So as you see, I hit him right in the back, and it came out and nailed him in the head. It was a great shot, and I just dropped him. First thing we're going to want to do when you get one of these, and the reason I'm using a fillet knife, because I have a tendency to lose pocket knives when I'm hunting, but... First, it kind of did it for me, but the first thing you're going to want to do is make a slit. Not a slit, but just an incision into the fur right on its spine. And then I'm going to show you what to do after you finish that up. That was pretty easy. The bullet did most of the work for me, but once you get that little slit, I can't show you because I'm filming all these by myself, but you put one hand on this side and grip the fur, one hand on this side and grip the fur, and you just pull them apart. And most of the fur, there might be a little bit left on the on the stomach, but it, that should pull the majority of the fur off of this guy. And I'll show you what, what you're going to want to do after that. Alright, well I figured out how I, how I can film this actually. Alright, there's the rabbit. I figured out how I can set this up so I can actually show you guys this part. Wow. So you're going to grab the skin on both sides and just start pulling. Oh, and it's a little rough, but as you can see it starts to expose everything gonna rip on both sides so there's one chunk of rabbit fur I actually think I might keep this chunk and try to tan it that's pretty look at that it's a beautiful rabbit anyways when you get down to the end oh man it's so dirty all that should be left is the tail it's little fluffy feet and the top is gonna be left so you can just grab the the back legs or the body continue to pull Switch over to the stomach. And at this point, you can just kind of do whatever you need to. Alright, oh, I almost did it again. I dropped my camera. Haven't done anything since then, though. You just got bottom finished. Working on the top. I accidentally bumped the camera when I was pulling on it. And it fell face down. Anyways, just continue to work it. Just pulling chunks off. You can rotate around. Work on different pieces. Once you get it over those arms, you're pretty much done. Like you can pinch right there. You can make a little incision. Stick your finger in it. Pop that off. Do the same on the other side. Find it. Pretty self-explanatory after you make that first incision. The fur just kind of peels off. And eventually, you have meat and guts, and all the fur should be around the, the head. And right here at this time, you're going to want to cut off the head. Don't know if I can show that on a YouTube video, but I'll be right back when that part's done. Well, now that we have a dusty rabbit, what we're going to want to do next is find the little joint where the foot and the leg meet. And you're just going to want to cut it off so we can get all that, all the foot off of the front and back legs. But what you don't want to do is if you end up cutting too high and you end up cracking that bone that goes all the way up through the, through the back legs, you're going to have fragments of the bone that are mixing up and like stabbing the meat and then that'll end up being in it when you're cooking it. So this is pretty important to try to find the right little spot. I think I got it right there. See the little bones lining up, and I'm just going to make a slit right there and get the feet off. So I'll be back in a second when I have all four feet removed. Alright, well I got the two back off, one of the front, and I thought I'd just show you guys how I'm doing this on the front. As I said, it's hard to film these by myself, so I couldn't show you the others, and I can only explain. I can't show you me actually doing it, but... So what you're going to want to do is take some of the fur off, because there's most likely fur up to there still. You're going to want to peel it, then you start pinching it back. And then you just kind of push down as hard as you can and connect the foot to the ankle. And then you'll hear a little snap. And you're going to want to find where it cut in half. 
and then you can just use your knife and saw and the knife will find the little path between the two bones and then it should snap off and it'll look something like that when it comes off anyways I'm gonna finish up this last one and then I'll move on to how to get these alright there we go it's removed and if there's one part to be really cautious about when cleaning these guys it's, it's gutting it so again I can't show you guys me actually doing it but I can explain what I'm going to do so you're gonna want to take your knife and you can see you just kind of pinch it and you make a little incision right there so there's a little hole in the skin so you can get to the guts you're gonna want to put two fingers in and just saw all the way down and then you can scoop all the guts out and I'll show you guys when I get it opened up so we got them opened up as I said you just put your fingers and you cut all the way down so now you can just grab the arms and you can just kind of shake them around and stuff starts falling out and then from here you put your hands in and you have to scoop everything out and I'll show you guys when I'm done getting everything out of it. Alright, so we got them all cleaned out. So what you're going to want to do is just take your hand, stick it down there, and there's going to be a light skin layer right there. When you pull it back, that is where you're going to find the lungs and the heart. So it's in a little protected area up in the top, like that. After that, just clean everything out, toss it. And then right here, you're going to want to take your blade and set it up right here. And just kind of hit it that'll crack the pelvis bone you can clean it all out now you're left with nothing but meat and you can see right there you can see the back straps from the inside I can tell we're gonna get a lot of good meat off of this guy but the next step is because the ribs are tiny on these guys they're useless to keep take your knife and run it and take all this belly fat and you can pop the rib cage out and so really and that's tiny, so that can just be used as like coyote bait or bobcat bait if you're trying to hunt those in the future. So really all we're going to keep, flip them over, all we're going to keep is here and down. So we'll have both back legs and all of the back strap. So I'm going to clean up the stomach and cut them in half and show you guys all the meat you're going to get out of it. The light's fading, so I have the flashlight on. But so anyways, you're going to want to clean it up. You can take all the sides of the ribs off. This is all cleaned up. This is what you get out of it. It's pretty big. Get the back legs, which we're gonna separate in a second. You're just gonna gonna wanna cut off this front half because all that's there is ribs and the the leggy front legs. So, anyways, that's out. That's trash. You can't eat the heart. It doesn't taste bad at all. It's just kind of a pain to add one extra bite to the meal. So. Now that we have all the meat that we're going to get out of it, you're going to take your knife. Oh, I don't want to hold the camera with a bloody hand. I'll have to act like I'm a lefty for this part. Right here, you're going to want to cut, and you can just saw back and forth. And eventually you're going to find the bone that connects the leg to the body. And just kind of mess around with it, and eventually you'll find the little notch where the two bones meet. And you can make a clean cut right there. I'll do the same on the other side, and then I'll show you how to clean up that back strap, and then we'll be all finished. All right, well, there we go. We got the two rabbit legs, and this is what I was trying to explain earlier. There's a little round bone right there. Get to focus. There's a round bone right there that matches up with that little hole right there. So if you kind of mess around and snap it, you can find that and saw along it with your knife, and you should be able to get a clean cut off. So then you have your two rabbit legs, and there's a couple of different ways to do this. So this is the back strap, just about the best part of any animal. There's two ways to do it. You can either cut this end off right here and you'll uh, you'll be left with the back and the back strap but the way I'm going to show you guys is to take your knife and take the back strap fillets off so you have boneless back straps wipe off my hand so I can switch so this is probably about the easiest part if you're careful with it you can just take your knife and you follow the spine on on either side all the way down and just saw really gently and let the knife do all the work and basically the bones guide you, and then once you have the line there, you poke through, and you cut the fillet off, and then you're left with just the back strap. So, I'll be back and show you how much meat we can get off of the back strap. Alright, so there we go, you just kind of follow the spine and cut off sideways. And then, all that's left right there is bones and a thin layer of meat. And these are the back strap fillets. There's one, and that's just boneless, really good meat, better than the legs by far the second strip and if you were to make jerky out of it if you have a dehydrator that is the chunk of meat to do it with and I've tried it multiple times it turns out great oh, that 
heard something. So, um, anyways, that makes two really good pieces of jerky if you have a dehydrator, but it really only makes sense if you have multiple rabbits. It's kind of weird to put in all the work of dehydrating it and marinating it just for those two pieces, but anyways, that is what we got out of a cottontail rabbit. Thank you so much for watching, and if you didn't see the YouTube video I made earlier on the actual hunting video where I shot this rabbit, show some support and go, sh go check it out. That's about all for this YouTube video, and uh, we're signing off. We're going to try to be uploading a lot more now, but I want to thank you guys. I, we hit 100 subscribers a few weeks ago. Uh, it's been a goal since we started the channel, so that's really big. Thank you guys for all the support. And thanks for watching.